Hello everyone, I am Prashant S. Malge, Assistant Professor, Department of Electronics Engineering, WIT Solapur. Welcome you all for a video lecture on Cascade Form Structures, the learning outcome. At the end of this session, student will be able to draw the cascade realization structure for a given FIR system. Now we will see the cascade structures. Now consider a transfer function h of z is equal to 1 minus 2z raised to minus 1 into 3 minus z raised to minus 1. Now let us think of the zeros of this transfer function. Now pause this video for a minute and think on what are the zeros. Okay, you might have already written the zeros. Now there are two zeros. The first one, this term becomes zero when the value of z is equal to 2. So therefore z1 is equal to 2. For the second, this term to become 0, the value of z must be equal to 1 upon 3. So that z raised to minus 1 is equal to 3 and 3 minus 3 becomes 0. So therefore, z2 is equal to 1 by 3. Now let us consider multiplying these two terms. We get 1 into 3 as 3 minus 6 z raised to minus 1 minus z raised to minus 1 plus 2 z raised to minus 2 which gives us 3 minus 7 z raised to minus 1 plus 2 z raised to minus 2. Now to understand the cascade form structure let us consider this h of z represented as h1 z into h2z. So we know that here when two systems are connected in cascade the corresponding systems will draw let us the system is hn as input the first system is unit impulse response h1n which is given to the second system whose unit impulse response is h2n and the output of this is y of n. The equivalent system is the impulse response of the equivalent system will be h1n into sorry convolution h2n. So according to commutative property this can be written as h2n convolution with h1n and so this input x of n output y of n and once again this can be written as h2n cascade connection of two systems and h1n. So what does it mean if you have two systems connected in cascade with impulse responses h1 and h2n then you can change the order of the two systems and you can take it as first system h2n with h1n. So as we have seen h of z is equal to 1 minus 2 z raised to minus 1 into 3 minus z raised to minus 1. Now let us realize this system this is 1 minus 2 z raised to minus 1. Comparing it to our standard equation the value of b0 is 1 value of b1 is equal to minus 2. Similarly for this system the value of b0 is 3 and value of b1 is equal to minus 1. So therefore if I am considering xn input b0 which is equal to 1. So this delay gives me x of n minus 1. If I am adding these two I will get the first system. Now this is given as an input to second system. 
So this is 3 and this is minus 1. Adding together, I will get y of n at the output. So we have this is h1z and this is h2z. Okay. So here we have connected these two systems in cascade. The order of this can be interchanged and gives you an equivalent system. Now we will use the same for the generalized transfer function. So now let us discuss cascade form structures for the system transfer function h of z is equal to summation k equal to 0 to m minus 1 b k z raised to minus k. So in this case this particular transfer function can be written as a product of second order subsystems as h of z is equal to product of k equal to 1 to capital K h k z where this h k z is equal to b k 0 plus b k 1 z raise to minus 1 plus b k 2 z raise to minus 2 where this k equal to 1 2 up to capital K. Here K this capital K is integer part of m by 2 because suppose for example we have m is equal to 5 so this m minus 1 will be 4 the order of the term will be 4 order of the polynomial will be 4 and therefore there will be two subsystems so 5 divided by 2 the its integer part is 2 so these this hkz is a second order subsystem now while forming these subsystems the coefficient b0 may be equally divided into k or number of subsystems like b0 equal to b10 into b20 into b30 dot 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 b k0 or it can be taken into one of the system now when we are combining these zeros to form a second order subsystem you can combine complex conjugate zeros together so that the coefficients bki in the second order system are real whereas the real zeros can be combined in any arbitrary manner so with this the cascade structure for our h of z will look like the input x of n this will go to the first system whose transfer function is h1z now here i can consider this as x1n so your x of n will be equal to x1n the output y1n of this will go as input to second order sy second system so likewise this will continue this will go to a system maybe h k minus 1 z 
the output of that will go to a final system h k z and this output will be y of n so this y capital k n will be equal to y of n whereas here the input to output of the system will be y of k minus 1 n will be equal to input here will be equal to x of k n so we'll have k subsystems which are connected in cascade whereas individual systems in this the realization will be because now individual system is basically hkz is equal to bk0 plus bk1 z raised to minus 1 plus bk2 z raised to minus 2 so if i have x of n so this will be z raised to minus 1 gives me x of n minus 1 further z raised to minus 1 gives x of n minus 2 so this is bk0 here it will be bk1 and here this is bk2 if i add all these terms together i will get the realization structure for this so this is the direct form realization of the second order subsystem so every subsystem in this will be system like this now depending on the value of m say for example m is equal to 7 so when m is equal to 7 our equation here it will be k equal to 0 to 6 so there will be the order of this will be 6 so the number of terms will be <coughs> 3 so in that case all the three systems subsystems will have coefficients bk0 bk1 and bk2 but if i consider m is equal to 6 then from this equation k equal to 0 to m minus 1 that is k equal to 0 to 5 bk z raised to minus k there the order of the system will be 5 and so you have for all three systems for out of those three for one of the system your bk2 will be 0 so this is how <coughs> given systems can be realized using cascade realization now let us consider another example on realization let us assume xz is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 z raise to minus 1 1 plus 1 by 4 z raise to minus 2 into 1 plus 1 by 3 z raise to minus 1 plus 3 by 8 z raise to minus 2 so now we have two subsystems so the realization structure will be your xn you have to draw two second order systems so z raise to minus 1 z raise to minus 1 this will be bk 0 that is 1 this will be minus 1 by 2 1 by 4 add the terms together so this is h1z this will go as an input to second system so z raise to minus 1 z raise to minus 1 this is the bk0 of this is 1 this will be 1 by 3 and this will be 3 by 8 so if i add this two, i will get y of so this is h2z so this is how given a transfer function we can draw the cascade form structure for the fir system thank you